Well, did you ever think DC would be calling fights inside the largest spherical building in the world? What a special opportunity for these athletes to get the chance to compete in this setting here tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. All right, early round action here as we get a look at Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. And Jamal Hill just speaks to the overwhelming depth in the light heavyweight top 10 right now. A lot of folks wondered when John Jones was out of this division, what would the future look like? It looks like Jamal Hill. A lot of people believe his striking game is such that he could be the next UFC light heavyweight champion. It's a pretty fast jab. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, again with the hook. You gotta be kidding me. And just the sheet action as expected thus far. Oh, man, John, they're trading early. Fast pace here in the early going. Lands a big right hand early. Oh. Tough to take down, no problem. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Try to establish that jab. Nice crack there. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Nice jab there by Jamal Hill. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. And under three minutes now to go on the round. Sweet Dreams Hills bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, solid kick right there. He gets to the single contact. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. It's starting to show itself. Great shot there. You see him put himself into the half guard, like the control, yep. At this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Sweet dreams, Hills in half guard now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Hill's eye appears to be closing up by the set. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And now some separation. 
Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Sweet dreams. Hill's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Final seconds of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if... This guy won't do it himself. Ready. Somebody's got to help him. Because yeah. you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Oh, that will land it. Yep. Big elbow. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Straight punch is true. Oh, it seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the right side position coming here and try to stop this fight. All right, so now blood. Checks the leg kick. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get him as often as you'd like. You get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now he's starting to pay dividends. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. Oh, he's doing it. Dreams Hills blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh! Well, no time to do really on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there. But at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down to get his opponent out of this fight. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Hill's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. That was nice. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the map? Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. 
grounded him and pounded him. Nice shot. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Sweet Dreams Hills has got full mount now. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Hills right really back. bleeding right heavily back. now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Right All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Sweet dreams. He'll go to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well here. And he switches his stance yet again. Going for the light kick, he misses. Oh, Ten oh. minutes in the books. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, sir. face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is... Oh, another knockdown! Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Sweet Dreams Hill gets in the clinch. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Sweet Dreams Hills. Oh. And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.